Here in the Harz region, in the middle of Germany, the dead spruce trees stand like white ghosts on the hilltops. They are victims of the bark beetle, a small insect that is causing major destruction across Germany. The beetle invasion is a consequence of warmer weather and less rain. It's an interlinked issue, because once you have a drought, the tree have less sap flow, they have less raisin. Um, and therefore the bark beetle can actually infest the tree. Um, when the trees are healthy and have a lot of raisin, the bark beetle goes in and um, gets literally glued up with the raisin so it can't eat. With no sticky raisin to get through, the beetle has eaten its way through around 245,000 hectares of forest in Germany. And with 2020 so far also turning out to be very warm and dry there is no end in sight we're not used to this drought here in the middle of europe we humans can adapt we have air conditioners the trees have no air conditioners so the trees that can't get used to this will die here, at the foothills of the Harz Mountains, volunteers are helping to replant trees in an area that was destroyed by the bark beetle. But they are planting a variety of trees, instead of large monoculture areas of just spruce trees. It's a way of safeguarding the German forests for future generations. The Wald braucht uns nicht. Der würde von alleine wieder entstehen. Aber wir brauchen den Wald. Wir brauchen Bauholz. Es ist der umweltfreundlichste Bau- und Rohstoff, den man sich vorstellen kann. Wächst immer wieder nach. Und äh, damit nicht nur Birke und Weide wächst, sondern... The forest doesn't need us. It would recover by itself. But we need the forest. We need wood as building material. It's the most environmentally friendly building material that you can imagine. And it always grows back. So that not just birch trees and willows grow back, but also trees for timber, we are planting silver fir and cecil oak. We look different in the future. The changing climate is already changing the way that Germany looks. And no one knows what forests like this one here will look like in the future. Jonah Kalgren, Euronews, Berlin.